construction of the much delayed Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology will start next month. The 9.3 billion shillings project at Konza Technopolis is expected to be completed by mid-2024. Konza Technopolis Chief Engineer John Tonui has further said admission of master and doctorate students is expected to start early next year. Last year, Kenya and South Korea signed a funding agreement towards the construction of the Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. The government has already set aside land for the construction of the institute at the Konsa Technopolis. KAIST is expected to provide specialized research and training in biotechnology, robotics, chemical engineering, among other cutting-edge fields. The institute was first proposed more than 10 years ago, but has faced delays in implementation due to long bureaucratic processes. This comes even as Konza Technopolis confirmed that 72% of Phase 1 has been snapped up by investors. We started a program we are calling Konza Investing uh, Cove Series. And we did it in Machakos, we came to Karen, we went to Eldoret, and we are here today to just share the update of what we are doing at Consa Technopolis, share investment opportunities, and also share programs that we can work together and transform our country. According to Konza Technopolis Development Authority Chief Engineer John Tanoe, the development of Phase 1 horizontal infrastructure is set to be completed by the end of this year. Phase 1 consists of 147 parcels of land or 1,703 acres of land. The government has so far provided land, clean water and high voltage power connection to the city as incentives to attract investors and demonstrate commitment to the development of Konza Technopolis. Technopolis provides that platform for such innovation hubs across the country to bring the ideas into successful uh, journeys that can be funded, that can do business with government, with private sector and create potential to have startups that we call Kenya own as they grow to become multinationals. Upon completion, phase one is expected to attract 30,000 residents composed of 7,500 knowledge workers and 16,700 other workers. Reporting for Lunchtime News, I am Teresa Mutai.